Hello students, this is Shushil Gupta from Holy Cross Ashram School, Chemistry Teacher. Today I am here to teach you Chemistry for Class 6. In last topics, we have studied about Introduction to Chemistry. Further moving on this chapter, we, today we are going to study about applications of chemistry in daily life. We know that chemistry is very creative and it is analytical and logical science. We have studied in previous videos that chemistry is a part of science only and therefore it is also known as analytical and logical science. In our daily life, what are the things we are seeing around us? We are using chemistry in one way or the other. For examples, the food which we are eating, the medicines which we are using, the colorful cloths which we are wearing, the fragrance of perfumes and deodorants, the fertilizers which we are using for agriculture purposes, the cosmetics which we are using for beautification of man and mankind. All these things are a part of chemistry in one way or the other. They all are a part of chemistry only. So we are using chemistry in every field. Most of the fields we are using in food, in medicines, in clothes, in perfumes, in deodorants, in fertilizers, in cosmetics, no field is untouched with chemistry. Therefore, it becomes a very important subject to be studied. And now we are going to discuss about applications of chemistry in detail. So, the first topic will be about food. Whatever the food we eat, how we can say that chemistry is contained in it? Just see, we all know in biology also you might have studied in previous classes also that food is consisting of fats, proteins and carbohydrates. These are the main contents which we are getting by intake of food. And these all are composed of elements such as carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. So, carbon, hydrogen and oxygen. These are the parts of chemistry. So, the food we are, which we are taking, definitely it is a part of chemistry. Second application of chemistry was... In food preservation. In food preservation. So first of all the question arises that what is the meaning of preservation? If anything we are keeping for longer time, then it is known as preservation. So the process by which we can handle the food for longer time that is known as preservation. Many of the techniques we are using, you might have seen sauces, jams and many of the pickles, they are coming in the market. How we are able to keep them for so much long period of time? It is because of the food preservation techniques. So what are the main techniques which we are using for food preservation? First most important technique is refrigeration. We are refrigerating them, keeping them at lower temperature. Second important food preservation technique is pasteurization. Pasteurization. This was discovered, this technique was discovered by scientist Louis Pasteur. And according to his name only, this technique was named as pasteurization. Third technique is adding 
of chemicals. So which chemicals we are using mainly? We are using two main chemicals for preservation. Benzoic acid and sodium benzoate. So these are the methods which we are using for saving of food for longer time. Third application of chemistry is in food processing. What is the meaning of food processing? Food processing. Processed food is stored in airtight containers and this process is known as scanning. So processed food is stored in airtight container for many days and that process is known as scanning. And because of this a processed food does not get corroded. For example, sugar, tea, coffee, as well as oil, these all are processed food items which we can cap, keep them safely for longer time. Fourth application of chemistry is in agriculture. Without agriculture, we are not able to survive. We all are feeding ourselves from the agriculture. Therefore, chemistry is helping a lot in agricultural field also. How it is helping? By the use of fertilizers. Food production is increasing. And if food production is increased, definitely the cost in the market will reduce. And if cost will reduce, then the man and the mankind may buy the things at a lower rate. So, Agriculture, chemistry in agriculture by the use of fertilizers increases the food production. Fertilizers are of three types. Potash fertilizers, phosphatic fertilizers and nitrogenous fertilizers. Potash fertilizers are the fertilizers which are rich in potassium. Phosphatic fertilizers are the fertilizers which are rich in phosphorus. And nitrogenous fertilizers are the fertilizers which are rich in nitrogen. These all account for the fertility of the soil and make the soil more fertile for agricultural purposes. Soil fertility increases. Soil fertility is, increasing, is increased by the addition of fertilizers. For saving of crops, we are using insecticides and Pesticides also, they all are part of chemistry only. Insecticides we are using and pesticides. We are using insecticides and pesticides for protecting crops. For protection of crops from insects. For example, Malathion is one of the famous insecticide and pesticide as well as copper sulfate. These two are nice insecticides and pesticides which we are using for saving of crops from insects. Moving ahead on the topic, the most important use of chemistry is in cosmetics. We all are using cosmetics in one way or the other. Definitely beautification, 
is always being liked by human and mankind. For justifying the beauty of human, we are using cosmetics so that we can look more handsome and smart, so that we can build more confidence. That's why we are using cosmetics. So what are cas cosmetics? These are also chemical substances which just add to the beauty of body. If we are using the cosmetics, then definitely our beauty of body increases and we start looking beautiful and handsome for a definite period of time. What all the things are coming in cosmetics? Face powders, nail polishes, perfumes, deodorants, shampoos, body washes, face wash, creams, kajal, all these things come in the category of cosmetics. The important things of cosmetics we are going to study in detail. So the first important cosmetics is thickener. For what purpose we are using it? It is used for making skin care products. For making of skin care products, we are just using thickeners. Second one is moisturizer. For what purpose moisturizers are used? Moisturizers are used to prevent water loss from the skin. Prevent water loss from skin. Third one are glimmers. Glimmers means shining. So these are the substances which provide a sparkling effect. Or we can say they can provide shining to the skin. Next one are Sunscreens. Nowadays, it is very common. Many of you might be using it also as it is extremely summer. So, we all are using sunscreen for protecting ourselves from harmful ultraviolet radiations and sunlight also. And the last one is Kajal. It is used for adding beauty to the eyes. Beauty to eyes is added by using kajal. So these are for the main applications of chemistry in the field of cosmetics. Now, sixth one where we are using chemistry is in Clothing. The clothes which we are wearing, they are also a part of chemistry that we have already discussed. Wool, silk, cotton, nylon, rayon, polyester. As well as many of the important more fibers, terricot, these all are a part of chemistry only. Natural fibers are much more, natural fibers, if we are talking about fibers, there are two types of fibers. One is natural fibers. And other one is man-made fibers. 
or we can say them as synthetic fibers also so synthetic fibers are more stronger than compared to natural fibers they are more durable also as well as they last long so synthetic fibers are much more useful as compared to that of natural fibers they dry faster they are water resistant they are wrinkle resistant and they are easy to handle also there are a number of advantages of synthetic fibers but natural fibers are in good in many respects synthetic fiber main drawback is that it can catch fire very easily whereas natural fibers cannot catch fire so easily another thing if we are using the cloths made up of natural fibers such as cotton and linen in summers then our body remains cool as compared to that of man made or synthetic fibers moving ahead the seventh application of chemistry is in medicines medicines are what they are just the chemical substances which we are using for curing or prevention of diseases cure or prevention of diseases we are using medicines according to their role medicines are classified into five categories so first one is antibiotics so what are antibiotics they are used for killing bacteria and microorganisms so these are the chemicals which are used for killing of bacteria and microorganisms examples penicillin it is one of the first developed antibiotic and it was developed by scientist named alexander fleming penicillin is not only one antibiotic it is a group of antibiotics second one is analgesics for what purpose analgesics are used they are used for reducing of pain for example aspirin and paracetamol these two will come in the category of analgesics third type of medicines are antipyretics what are antipyretics they prevent the growth of microorganisms prevent growth of micro organism these are known as antibiotics anti antibiotics are the medicines which just help to reduce fever analgesics to reduce pain and antipyretics are used for the reduction of fever example same aspirin and paracetamol they can be used as analgesics also and they can be used as antipyretics also fourth one is antiseptics so what are antiseptics they are the medicines which prevent the growth of microorganism on wounds and sores if we 
just fell somewhere while playing or something like that if we get hurt then we are using antiseptics only so that our wound or sores may not increase detol is one of the best known antibiotic antiseptics detol as well as a tincture of iodine these all are known as antiseptics fifth one is antacids antacids are the medicines which are used to neutralize the effect of excess acid produced in the stomach if you eat much more then what happens the hydrochloric acid which is present in our stomach begins to produce more so in order to reduce that production what we are in order to neutralize the effect of excess acid which is produced in the stomach which we are using and acids for example milk of magnesia milk of magnesia digi these all are about the and acids so you have to remember today whatever we have taught that what are the applications of chemistry where chemistry is used in our daily life how it is used important types of fertilizers types of acids with examples cosmetics their types along with examples medicines their types along with examples so this was all about for today's class next video will be presented soon thank you and